Yo, Adam Saxon with Guy in a Cube. Another week, another roundup. We've got some updates. We've got some cool stuff with the Power Platform. It's all coming up. If you're finding us for the first time, be sure to hit that subscribe button to stay up to date with all the videos from both Patrick and myself. And with that, let's dig in. Katie over at Blue Granite's got a blog post talking about the Power Platform and how you can use that to enable easy insights into whatever you're trying to do from a project perspective. One of the things I love is that she breaks out Power BI, Power Apps and Flow into kind of, I don't know, personas. Whereas Power BI is the analyzer, Power Apps is the actor, and Flow is the automator. Every time I say that in my head, I've got Arnold Schwarzenegger going off. She does a great job of introducing the three parts of the Power Platform and then walking through an actual implementation of it. If you're curious about how you can use Flow and Power Apps in conjunction with Power BI, this is a great blog post to start looking at the Power Platform to enable that for your organization. There's a blog post over on the community site that talks about using automated machine learning inside of Power BI. I honestly don't know who wrote this. It's Catdoor over on the community site. The way it's worded, I think it's a Microsoft person, but I'm not sure. But regardless, this is a great blog post that talks about automated machine learning and how it was integrated into Power BI. This is a great way to look at just how this actually works inside of Dataflow so that you can kind of judge, is this something that you wanna go after? And then there are also a few callouts at the bottom that talk about maybe some common issues you may hit and how to work around those or how to avoid them. So if you're interested in automated machine learning, definitely check out this blog post. Links as always down in the description below, along with links for all the items in this week's roundup and some bonus items. Go check it out. Another announcement this last week for paginated reports inside of Power BI. You can now include paginated reports inside of your apps that you publish from app workspaces. So this is a pretty big deal. I know a lot of folks have been commenting to me of asking, you know, when is that gonna be available? it is now available. So you can include that content in your apps and then publish that out for mass distribution. And let me know down in the comments below if you are using Paginated Reports. I'm just curious. The March 2019 summary for the Power BI service and mobile app and gateway, that blog post has been released. Just recapping what happened in March of 2019. There were some big things that happened. So the preview of XMLA endpoints is there. We had multi-geo capabilities go GA from a premium perspective. Another big one was that users outside of your organization can now edit and view content through Azure AD B2B. So that's actually very exciting. And we got the March update of the on-premises gateway. So make sure you update to the latest version of the gateway if you haven't already. There were a couple other items as well. So go and check out the blog post links down below and get up to speed on all the things that happened in March. Last week was the second week of April and we got an update for Power BI Desktop. There were a bunch of cool things inside of this release. Definitely make sure you've updated to the latest version. Just to highlight a few items, there were updates for the filter pane. There were a lot of updates for the filter pane. This included accessibility updates, support for full editing of the new filter pane, ability to edit the filter names, all sorts of stuff. So definitely check out all of the updates related to the filter pane. We also got conditional formatting updates for titles and for URLs. And when I say that, really what this is, this is the DAX expression based formatting for titles and for URLs. So that's very cool. And so if you looked at the month before, the URLs were updated for both images, buttons, and shapes. And that was a static URL, but now you can use the conditional formatting dialog to include dynamic URLs from a DAX formatting perspective. So that's huge. I love that. Now all we need is just the paginated reports URL passing from a query string perspective, and we'll be good to go. Another big item in April's release is the ability to drill across reports. So before we had drill through from report pages, but now you can do drill through across other reports inside of Power BI. That's huge. So think of a scenario where your main report is using imported data, and then you have a different report from a detail perspective that's using like direct query that you know may be slower and you don't want to go through all the hassle of composite models, things of that nature, you can now do a drill through from the imported report over to the direct query report. That's big. There are a lot of other items as well inside of April's release of Power BI Desktop. Go check out the blog, watch the video, just see everything that came out. You will not be disappointed. Links down below. 
All right, a lot of cool items that came out in April. I wanna pass this off to you. You let me know what is your favorite item this last month. Go ahead and leave that down in the comments below. Maybe it was something I mentioned. Maybe it was something I didn't. I wanna hear it. If you like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Smash it if you so desire. If it's your first time here, hit that subscribe button. And as always, from both Patrick and myself, thank you so much for watching. Keep being awesome. And we'll see you in the next video.